uh, as you all know and I have already mentioned in my opening statement, we have strengthened uh, three uh, pillars of the SEO, startups and innovation, science and technology and traditional medicine. During our chairmanship of, uh, of uh, the SEO Council of Heads of Government this year, we have proposed to create a special working group on startups and innovation. As you are aware, we have the second largest startup ecosystem in the world and we have created a robust and dynamic environment for startups and innovators to thrive. The creation of the special working group on startups and innovation will lay the foundation for multilateral cooperation and engagement among SEO member states to develop and hone their own startup ecosystems through knowledge sharing workshops, training young entrepreneurs, enabling access to investors and exchanging best practices. This will now be developed as per SCO established practice. We would also like to congratulate all the SCO member states for successfully participating in the first ever startup forum hosted by India on the 27th of October in virtual format which, uh, which witnessed participation by more than 2,500 delegates and there were 49 speakers and 102 startups from SCO countries. India has now offered to annually host the special working group on startups and innovation and also the SCO startup forum. Our second proposal is to create an expert group on traditional medicine under the SCO health ministers meeting. We have witnessed the limitations of modern medical system which is under tremendous pressure due to the unprecedented global spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. In such a scenario, Traditional medicine systems have played an important supporting role in providing effective and low-cost alternative to save the lives of millions in the region. The creation of an expert working group in traditional medicine will effectively help to synergize our efforts in creating a holistic approach to healthcare in the Eurasian region. India's Ministry of Ayush is ready to annually host the expert working group on traditional medicine uh, in India under the mechanism of SCO Health Ministers meeting which is held on an annual basis. We look forward to cooperation with all SCO member states in you this see, field. Uh, we have always laid a lot of emphasis on our partnership with SCO in, uh, in the economic field. Uh, as you know, the SCO has adopted a multilateral trade and economic strategy called MTEC in 2019. And we have now developed the action plan to implement that. And if you look at that, you will see initiatives in a whole host of areas such as agriculture and agro-processing, energy, free movement of goods and services, health, pharma, MSMEs, education, alternative energy and traditional medicine. So this tells you very clearly our commitment to boosting this particular pillar of intra-SCO cooperation. As far as uh, whether uh, Pakistan is going to join these initiatives, well that is entirely up to Pakistan, but the SCO charter does provide uh, a provision that one country cannot hold up uh, cooperation uh, in all these areas uh, and it allows other member countries uh, which are interested to take a particular uh, cooperation sector forward with the exclusion of the one country which is opposing it.